Hi guys! So for today's video, I am going to be showing you what's inside of my handbag. I did shoot a what's in my handbag video a while ago. It was my very first video as an intro into the YouTube world, but it's been a while since then, so I thought let me shoot an updated what's in my handbag. So I am going to be showing you guys what's inside of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull handbag. And I have to say, it looks quite empty, but let me assure you, there's quite a lot in here. Well, the stuff's quite heavy, if anything. Inside here are some bits I kind of carry out now that it's summertime and the sun's out. So just bear with me, I don't always use all of these bits all year round. Maybe I should, but I don't. So at the moment, I've got um, this book that I'm reading, and I have to say, I'm not doing a very good job uh, making my way through it. I'm just, I've just been terrible. I know I set myself um, a target at the beginning of the year to read a book a month, and I have to say, I am failing miserably on that front. It's a book I've started reading, but I haven't quite finished. I'm not even going to tell you how long I've had it for because it would just be embarrassing. So, yeah, there's one I picked up, and it's kind of like a, you know, mental health well-being kind of book and it really says um, the life-changing magic of not giving <laughs> and um, it basically says how to stop spending time you don't have doing things you don't want to do with people you don't like yeah I mean not that I have any problems doing that but you know I thought let me pick it up and see if I can pick up some tips so yeah so this is what I've got in my bag that I read from time to time when I'm on the, the train and don't have my headphones because Lord knows, I, I just, every time I'm out, I wear my headphones, which is a really bad habit because I don't get a lot of reading done. So yeah, so that's one thing I have in my handbag at the moment. The next thing I have is a bottled glass of water. And I like to carry a bottled glass instead of a plastic one, just for health reasons. I've read somewhere that it's better to carry water in glass containers than in plastic because of the heat. Something to do with the heat. I'm not, I'm no expert, so I'm not even going to pretend and try to explain to you the reasons why, but I read it somewhere and I thought, okay, let me make that switch. So this is a bottle I picked up from like the supermarket and I just recycle really. I don't, it's not like I buy a new one every time I go out, I just recycle what I have. So come home, refill it and out I go. And it's quite heavy, so it does weigh my hand back down quite a bit, I must say. But it's the healthier way to carry water when you're on the go, and so I do it. Yeah. This is self-explanatory, really, because when you live in England, you just don't know what the weather's going to be like. It's so unpredictable. So this, come summer, come winter, I always have one in my handbag because it's just so essential because you just never know. You never know you're going to need it. You just never know. And so this is one that's always in here. Next up I've got is a pair of sunglasses and these are ones, there's the Moonies that my friends got for me for my birthday, absolutely in love with them. The tortoise shell frames, circular frames and I love them. So yes, I carry these in my handbag. Sometimes I alternate with my other pairs I've got but at the moment these are what I'm loving and so that's what's in here. And so I keep in my handbag so it's always there if and when I need it, you know? Then I've got my purse because of course you need to carry a bit of money with you and this is an Aspinall one I got a little while ago and it's doing me good, it's doing me good I would say. I don't really update my purses that often unless it's really battered and damaged so this I feel like I can see myself having for a very very long time unless I just decide to buy another one for no apparent reason because sometimes you just do that because you like the way it looks you know. So yeah so this is my purse and of course it's navy because you know I love navy like come on. <laughs> Some people love black, but I love navy like some people like black, let me just put it that way, yeah. Next up, I've got a hairbrush because when you're on the go, your mane can just get a bit tangled up and just, you know, all over the place, especially when the wind's blowing. So I like to carry one, especially when you've got a big handbag like this. There's just no excuse. It's any and everything, really. So I pop one in there and use it when I'm on the go and I feel like I need to <laughs> spruce up myself some more. That's there. And my Oyster card for hopping onto the trains. It's essential because I hop onto the trains like pretty much every day. So yeah. Of course, my phone. 
because I just can't leave my house without one. It's just one of those things that comes with me wherever I go. Even when I hop into bed, I take my phone with me. It's probably a bad thing to do, but it's just one of those things. Yeah, addicted. I so that's the bits that's in the main section of the bag. Let me show you what's in the smaller pouch attached to the bag. And in the smaller section, I've got a compact mirror, a present from a friend, and um, yeah. I like it, I use it from time to time because sometimes when I'm out, I feel like people are staring at me and I don't know, I just I just, I just, just get a bit self-conscious, I just think, is there something on my face and they're not telling me about? So I'll just drag out the compact mirror just to check everything's okay. Of course, my business card because hell, you just never know who you're going to bump into and so I make sure to carry one with me always. Next up. I told you guys I was obsessed with the sleek match me and birthday suit and I really am. So normally when I do my makeup at home, I tend to not carry much of it with me. But these days I do carry the lip stuff around just a little bit, just in case I need to top up, just in case. Very, very rarely do I ever need to top up because one, I'm lazy. But you know, sometimes when you're out and you have no intentions to go out in the evening, your friend's like, oh, let's go to this bar, and you just think, okay, let me just top up my lipstick. So then I will do that. And so I have the lip liner and the lipstick along, just in case I need to top up, so yeah. Oh, my EOS lip balm, my sacred one. I love them, I actually love them. They are truly, truly amazing, and I swear by them. And luckily enough for me, the last time I went to America, I stocked up on a few. So I still have a few more left because when it runs out, Lord knows I'm going to be in trouble because it's so much more expensive in London than it is in America for some reason. Well, I know why because obviously it's imported goods, but still, it's, it's, it's ridiculous how much they, you know, spike up the prices. So um, yes, yeah, so I always make sure I stock up on these when I'm in America because I don't want to have to pay more than I need to really. Of course, I've got my, you know, um, house keys in here as well. That's all the bits that's in my handbag at the moment. I don't think I've got a lot of glamorous bits in here, but I have had a few requests to do a what's in my handbag video. So I thought, let me fulfill that request for you guys and show you. Occasionally I do tweak it up from time to time if, I, if and when I need to carry more bits. But this is what I carry around. It does weigh my arm down a little bit, I must say, but they're like semi-essentials in there. <laughs> they're semi-essentials, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> Any questions, please let me know. And please keep the video um, suggestions coming through. I'm really appreciating all that you guys have sent my way. I'm making a note of them down and hopefully as time goes on, I can shoot them for you as well. As always, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye.